Ellen Neckman of Agora Financial joins us now for Trader Talk and more. Thanks for coming on the show as Come always. On, so the Dow now in negative territory for the year. A lot of that having to do with the tough tariff talk is really what it is. Friday, Monday, now Tuesday, markets open up sharply lower, but the losses ended up being very modest when it was all said and done. So the price action maybe not as negative as the headlines that we're seeing. So let's take a look at some of your trades here. Newmont Mining. Got out with a loss last week. So we had eight consecutive winners. Gold fell on its face, did not get anywhere. So we took a small lump there and moved on. Micron. Micron doing well. Uh, we've got that option. It's a June 29th option. So it goes off the board. Not this Friday, but Friday next. That's an example of buying more time than we needed. We've got the 55 calls. Those are deep in the money. Let's see another push above 60. Can get that stock going once again. How's your Microsoft play? Microsoft, we took off half of the position. Now we've got the June 29th, again, a week and a half of time. The 95 calls deep in the money. Another push of 102 could send it to new highs and uh, we could uh, take another round of profits there. And Freeport McMoran, you're a big believer in this stock. Yeah, it did pull back. It came back to that 16 support we've got the $16 calls but July 20th so where I come from that's a month of time for good things to happen that's why we position when the volatility was low we bought more time than we needed look for another cycle to the upside and your WPI trade tracker for this week is Exxon you've been talking about the stock this week what's going on right. here Ellen? Exxon we saw some interesting action in oil I'll talk about that in a minute but we saw Exxon rise 15 percent from 72 to 84 now it's pulled back halfway to the 78 level we're leading on that as support now we're back above 80 looking to make another push on that stock I like the energy stocks because we had that pullback in crude and we've got the July 20th, again a month of time, the 77 and a half calls that will benefit on another rebound and solid move to 82 and then 84 in Exxon. Oh, well, before you take off, let's get your trading floor takeaways. Number one. Lucky 13. There's no 13, such thing as like a dog. That's people. where the VIX is at right now. The VIX is at 13, which amazingly is 70% off the highs of February when we were at 50. So right now, I know everybody feels nervous, but the VIX is reflecting that there's not as much fear in the market as there was nowhere near where we were in February when we were at 50. A cool customer, number two. Uh, we've got the rates relaxing. So we've had the rate talk spook the markets here in months, months past, but I want to remind people that it's now been going on a month that we've been under 3% in that highly watched 10 year note. So we're seeing rates move down and that should make people a little bit more comfortable. And last on your list. Last, we got the OPEC meeting here coming up. So now this is the biggest meeting since 2014 when they tried to put the shale producers out of business and they had that surprise there where they just flooded the market with uh, production. So now it's interesting, we talked about the oil market. Looking at oil this week, on Monday we had new two month lows and then a higher close. So that's a very bullish sign. So there may be a relief rally after this OPEC meeting. That will help out crude, that will help out Exxon, that will help out the market in general, and that'll help us out with our weekly options. Thanks so much for coming on this show. Thank you. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.